Hello my doves, welcome back to After IT by Olympia. It's Ollie here. We've got a video for you guys today about bronzers. Now, my I do have another video on my channel about the Becca Maui Nights. I did a review, well, kind of review demo type comparison uh, to MAC. Now, one of my viewers made an excellent comment down below and... I'll put it up there, <laughs> um, and suggested that I get NARS, um, what's it called, NARS Casino Bronzer. So I thought I would do a review on this bronzer for you guys, and yeah, so if you want to find out how this bronzer goes against the Becca Maui Nights, keep watching. Okay, so you guys are probably very familiar now with the Becca Maui Nights. This is it here. I'll pop the price up on the screen for you guys. Now, um, I love this bronzer. This, I actually kind of use this combination more so than I use the MAC combination for my previous video. So this does have a red undertone which initially um, I thought was a bit odd, but I've kind of grown accustomed to it. And every time I put it on, it's seamless, it's well diffused, it doesn't, you know, it's never patchy. So this is a good start if you're looking for a bronzer for a dark complexion. So, but today's video is going to be mostly about the NARS, uh, what's it called? The NARS bronzing powder in the color Casino. So that's it there. Um, so I did a little swatch on that already. So according to NARS, this diffusing bronzing powder with subtle hints of golden shimmer sweeps on for a natural sun, sun kiss glow. It's available in three universal shades. <laughs> it's available in three universal shades to instantly bring on an all over warmth and contour to the entire face. The finely milled powders also conceal the look of fine lines, pores for a porcelain smooth, even finish, while the subtle shimmer adds glow and dimension. So oh, that's actually pretty impressive. So yes, one thing I definitely noticed about this, it's got a slight sheen to it. I don't know if it will show up on my hand. Excuse the ashy hands, guys. See how it's got a, I don't know if it's picking it up. It's got a slight sheen to it. So we're going to test this out for the first time on my face. I've never used this uh, bronzer before. Let me just clean my hands. Because I've got bronzer on the... Oh my god. I kid you not, I just got micellar water on it. Oh, oh no! I just totally ruined my new bronzer. That's okay. It will... It will totally dry. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Alright, so before we go into testing this out on my face, however, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the brushes that I like to use for bronze. I love bronzing. Bronzing gives me so much joy and happiness. I don't know what it is about bronzing up my face. That just gives me life. I just don't, I don't feel complete without bronzer. Often days that I don't want to do like a full B, I'll um, basically just do a little bit of bronzing. My skin's, you know, fairly okay that week or that day. Um, and I will opt to bronze more so than to contour as well. So bronzing is life to me. So my bronzer series, yes, I'm going to do a bronzer series. I'm going to test out a whole heap of bronzers um, just to give you guys a bit of a point of reference whether it will work for you or not. A lot of these bronzers that I have bought have been from either Sephora or from Beauty Bay or from Mecca. Um, some drugstore, not a lot of drugstore because there aren't bronzers for dark people in drugstores. <laughs> so um, a lot of them will be more higher end and I'm really sorry about that guys but I wish I could you know, review bronzers for darker skin tones from 
chemists and drugstores, but I can't. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to just going to quickly talk about some of the brushes that I like to bronze with. Um, I've got some high, high end, some mid range, and some drugstore bronzer brushes that I like to use. Now, um, because Oh, dang, I've got a whole heap of glitter on my face. Dude, that's a lot of, that's a lot of glitter. That's just going to have to do. <laughs> anyway, but because um, I like to kind of do a subtle contour with my bronzing, I don't just kind of place it around the perimeter of my face. I like to kind of go in along the cheeks a bit stronger and chisel my cheeks out a little bit more with bronzer. I like a bronze brush that has like a tapered top. So I've got four brushes here. This is my trusty Zoeva face, uh, Lux Face Definer 101. And I love bronzing with this brush. As you can tell, it's got Becca Mine out, so I really should wash this. Anyway, um, this is an excellent uh kind of middle range um, bronzing brush. I will put the price up on the screen for you guys. Uh, see how it's got that tapered top? That's what I love about it. Another really good bronzing brush is the Chi Chi Tapered Bronzer 108. That Once again, it's got that tapered top that I like, but it's pinched, so you can get a bit more of a contouring effect with this one, just because it, when it's pinched like that, it means it's more dense but it's still fluffy because it's longer does that make sense so this yeah this is a really good one um this is the cheapest out of the lot that i've got here um and it's available at anywhere that sells chi chi so maya kmart, is kmart? no target i'm not sure whether kmart sells, sells chi chi or not but yeah this is a good cheaper alternative and then if you really want to kind of get up there in price um, I've got two here that I love bronzing with. One is the Marc Jacobs The Bronze. That's literally what it's called, The Bronze. But it's still got that tapered top that I like so that I can concentrate uh, the product in certain areas. And then lastly but not least is the Kat Von D20 uh, powder brush. This is also excellent. If It's actually kind of really, really like soft so this out of all four will give you the softest softest bronze so if you want just a hint of a glow this is really good at giving you a soft 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 so yeah this is a good one too i'll put the price up on the screen so yeah i am now gonna go into actually demoing the bronzer for you guys that is the nars uh bronzing powder in the color casino i'm going to demo on my face for you guys and we can see together if it's going to be a correct match stay tuned guys because if you've watched my videos before you will know that sorry this is just the mirror you will know that i've uh, had some issues with <laughs> darker shades but that's fine we're going to test it out so with my Marc Jacobs The Bronze, I'm going to bronze half of my face. The NARS on this side, I'm going to do Becca Marionites on this side. And we're going to do a comparison. I want you guys to let me know which one you think is better. But having a comparison, I feel, kind of helps you determine, you know, just how brown it is or just how red it is or just how pink it is or golden. Um, and just how much shimmer there is as well. So it's just it's just really good to have some kind of comparison. So what did I say? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do Nas on this side. So that's how much product I've picked up with it. Honestly, guys, I feel like all it's done. Okay, Let, let's 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 have a chat. I feel like all that it's done is it hasn't actually shown up on my skin. That's that's number one. 
has not shown up on my skin whatsoever number two because it's got this shimmer underneath it it's basically picked up on all all of my texture like all these little bumps that i have currently like all these pimples it's basically just put the bronzer on it like it's high it's Nope. I feel like it should have given me a good glow though, but all it's done is just kind of settled on my fan on my spot. I don't know if it's not playing well with my foundation. Cause it looks darker than me. Like it looks like it should, you know. But maybe when it comes to bronzing for me, I need that little bit of red. So I'm just going to pop on the Becca Maui Nights real quick and we can do a comparison. Okay, so that's the Becca, and this was the NARS side, but I've gone and it just kind of paled, powdered down some of that sheen. Um, it didn't really work for me, guys. I'm going to put some Becca on this side. Okay, so... Looks like the Becca Maui Nights is staying. I still haven't found a bronzer to beat this one yet, but it's not from a lack of trying. So unfortunately, yeah, the NARS Casino bronzing powder, it looked very, very promising, but I, I, don't, think, I don't think it works for me. Yeah, sorry guys. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. It was another fail. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to keep trying you and I until we find a bronzer that is just as good as the Beckham Maui Nights. I am on the hunt. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this series, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you want me to continue and do more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.